Hi everyone, it's Mari from Dudos da Mari on Instagram and today I have another currently inked video. I already inked my pens for November, so if you have been following my channel for a while now, you know that every month I like to change the pen and ink combination for both my longhand writing journal and for my everyday carry planner. Uh, so as of the recording of this video, this is currently October 30th, so I pretty much just had today to choose my colors, my ink colors for November. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, briefly, I also wanted to touch in the other topic, which is I got a new ink um, journal notebook. So I have been using this one in my um, handmade traveler's notebook. This is a Cosmo Airlight paper that I bought from Paper Penguin Co. in a passport size. And I really love this size because I don't need to write too, too much. Uh, on this, uh, but I actually just finished. I wrote, I wrote in the pretty much last page uh, yesterday, so I'm fine with having one blank page here. And I actually didn't end up, didn't end up using the index um, very often in this uh, journal. So this is something that I'm not gonna be moving to my new ink journal. But this is the new ink journal. So this is the Tomoe Reaper paper. Passport size notebook from Create with Pen, and this is just adorable. Um, it's you know the same size as the one that I was using before, but it's much. Um, it has a lot more pages, uh, and this is gonna be fun, I think, because even though the my goal with my ink journal is not necessarily having a catalog of you know one insert just for the ink testing, one insert just for swatching and things like that. So I want everything to be in the same journal just to have something more organic. So if I want to swatch things, I'll swatch. If I want to test an ink, I will test an ink. If I just want to make some notes, I will just make some notes. Um, and then with that in mind, having a thicker notebook like this might be helpful because if I do actually want to check my ink testings like this one, for example, then it's going to be easier to find, right? So that's the idea here. So um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So this is actually uh, the her character is called Tinta, which is actually an ink drop. So it's perfect for uh, an ink journal. So I'm going to be starting this journal today with you guys. Um, I also already uh, started adding some things. So this is the um, empty, what's it called? Pocket washi tape, I think it's called. Um, so basically they have uh, glue here on both sides and then you just uh, cut the size that you want and you put an, a washi in the bottom and this serves as a pocket, right? So I just create two pockets here just to house the things that came with my order, which I thought they were pretty cute and I wanted to have them with the notebook. So I just put two uh, pockets here and then I think we can start. I usually don't like these first pages here, so I might just do something here later. I'm not really sure what. And then I'll probably start with my currently inked on this one. So as we start, I already see something that could potentially bother a lot of people is that because this is so tall in the first few pages, it might be a little bit harder to write on this side. So what I will need to do is maybe get some like another notebook. Let me see what I have nearby. Uh, I don't want to maybe this one. Yeah, I can maybe use my other uh, Hobonichi weeks here just so I have like a flat surface to write. Uh, and then regarding the colors that I chose for this month, uh, I am really bad at color coordinating or com like creating a color palette. So what I have been doing since last month is I just go to Pinterest and I try to Google some color palettes. Uh, and this was the one that was kind of, you know, I just liked it <laughs> when I saw it. Uh, so this is called 70 vi 70s Vibes, uh, and there are a lot of 
like uh, dusty pinks, uh, burgundy color, like some like sandy color, a few greens and some turquoise uh, here in the bottom. So this is what I got as an inspiration to choose my colors. Uh, and then I ended up, I actually ended up choosing this one. Uh, so let me put this aside so we have more room here. But so this starts with like a dusty pink and like the first color, the second color actually is like a dusty pink. So I chose Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose to match that. The next one would be probably this one here, which I think matches quite well with um, Diamine Regal Monaco Red, which I already had inked from the previous month. Uh, and I still have quite a lot left, so I didn't, I wanted to carry over to November. And then the second one would be maybe this one, Ferris Wheel Press oyster hour which i think would fall somewhere around here uh, so this is the the other one that i chose then the next one would be not this one next one would be this one which is kind of more yellow mustard so maybe around here and this one is ferris will press queen and castle the next one i think it would be this one which is sailor yurameko Amamoyoi, Amamoyoi, <laughs> which I think would fall somewhere between here, I think. Um, and then we have like these darker blues here, which I have two that I'm carrying over from October, which are my Pilot uh, Petite with the blue black cartridge and the Organic Studio Henry David Thoreau which is kind of like a greenish teal with a lot of sheen, like a red sheen. So I'm considering that this is somewhere around here in my color palette. And lastly, I have another Ferris, Ferris Wheel Press ink, which is the Bluegrass Velvet, which would be something along here. So it's kind of a dark color palette, I think, although I have some very light colors. Um, so let's see, let's see if I'm going to enjoy this. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to show you which pens I chose here uh, and then just do a swatch here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can put, move this here to the corner. Just so I have some guide in which order I want to swatch stuff. So with that, uh, I also wanted to use my um, Everyday Explorer Explorers Co. Um, stamp. So this is the pen and paper stamp set, and this is perfect, right? Uh, the only thing I wish there they had here was a currently inked, because I could use several for my currently inked. Um, but I think I'm just going to use like the pen here and then just write um, my currently ink, ink. So let's see how it's going to go. Uh, okay, just remove everything and I'll put it away later. I want to use this one. And I'll put that aside. And then I chose this yellow color here as my um, stamp ink pad, just because if I look here in my color palette, I think I'm missing a few more of the like yellow orangey colors. So I'm just gonna use the, I'm just gonna use the ink pad to bring in some, a little bit more yellow. So let's see how that's going to go, because I have no idea uh, how that's going to go. This is my first time setting up on this notebook, so maybe the spacing is not going to be the same. Um, we'll see, we'll see. So let me try to put this here. Yeah, just very subtle. And then I'm just going to write 
currently inked and then the date so let's see i'm not sure how my handwriting will, will go with this but let's see and this is tomoe river paper i think i already mentioned but this is also good because most of the planners that I use are Tomoe Tome River paper. They are not Cosmo Airlight. So, you know, even though I was using the Cosmo Airlight as my ink journal, this is going to be a little bit more representative of what I usually use. And it's always very hard to write in the, you know, between the pages, but I think that's okay. Uh, I'm going to put October 30, but I know this is already my November currently inked. Twenty twenty two. Okay. And then I think I want to start with Lady Rose. So Lady Rose, I uh, inked in my Moonman Youth, I think it's called, with a food nib. Just because with this nib, um, I, I want to put more lighter colors, which I think would be harder to, to use with finer nib pants. Um, but saying that, with that in mind, just uh, one thing that I need to say in advance as well is that I recently cleaned a lot of these pens, so there might still be a little bit some water. So it might be a little bit diluted, diluted. So I think I want to do like, a, like some sweaters like this. So this is going to be... This is very light, even with the food pen, if we compare it here, it's very light. I think maybe using the glass nib pen would be, glass dip pen would be a little bit better because it's a little bit more concentrated. So this is um, Ferris Wheel Press, Lady Rose, and I can barely read it, so it's going to be interesting to use this moment youth with a food in it. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, some of this lightness might be again because I just cleaned this pan. So I think, you know, with time uh, it's going to get a little bit more concentrated. So we'll see. The next one would be Diamine uh, Rigo Monaco Red, which is on my crown fountain pen, and I believe this might be a medium nib. So let me just fill this in, and this is Diamine. Rigo Monaco Red. And to me, this is sort of um, brownish red. Which I, I like it. It's very fall appropriate, I would say. <laughs> um, the next one would be Ferris Wheel Press Oyster Hour, which I believe is in this one i just inked those so i'm not completely sure so i have something i have some notes behind me uh, so let's do this so this is ferris wheel press oyster hour and this is my Twisby swipe 
with a broad nib. This looks really, really pretty. Uh, the next one would be Queen and Castle, which I know it's in this one. You can see the shimmer here. So I wanted to put this in my twist big goal, just because I like to uh, use the shimmer inks with this, um, what's it called, like, like a spring loading just because I feel like it's gonna be easier to clean uh, and then with with the twist B go I can't actually uh, take everything apart like I do with my twist B swipe but because of the spring I think I will be able to remove most of the um, the shimmer in the end and I, I can't uh, take apart the nib and feed, which I did, and I actually changed it to be to a 1.1 uh, stub nib. So this is gonna be the next one, which is kind of like a mustard yellow uh, with a lot of sheen, oh shimmer, sorry, not sheen. So this is Fairies Real Press. Queen and Castle, and this is on my Twisby Go with a 1.1 stub. And this ink is beautiful. You can see here that it's very, it's it leans more yellow, almost like mustardy yellow, I, I would say. Um, but because of the shimmer, I think, and because of the nib, it's going down really dark. So I don't know if it is something that will, you know, as we in longer writing sessions, if I'm going to see a little bit more of the yellow showing through. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I like it. It's just a little bit darker than what I want it to be uh, from the swatch. But it's okay. I like it. And then I have four more, so technically I should have done those here. So I'm going to start uh, writing here. Then I think it would be this one, actually. This one is the Sailor Yurameko uh, Amamoyoi. Which is a mouthful. <laughs> uh, so let's see, Sailor. Yurameko. Um, oops. Ama. Moyoi. And this is on my Kaweko. Or Kaweko. Perkeo with a medium nib. Yeah. And this one is the one that I'm going to I will use on my everyday carry planner, which is this one actually. Um and the reason I wanted to ink this one in this pen is because I've been having a lot of um not a lot, but I've been having some uh pain in my wrist. Uh and I do have you know, this happens a lot with me because I type a lot um, during my work. So I wanted this one because this is just a little bit thicker. Uh, not as thick as my Twisby Big Goal. So the, the Twisby Big Goal would be the most ergonomic. Um, but I think oops, this one is also just a little bit thicker than most. So I think it's going to help me a little bit with that as well. And I wanted some of that um, chroma shading effect uh, on my everyday carry, just because you know, since I use this every single day, uh, I want I wanted a more interesting interesting ink uh, just to look at every day. Not that these ones aren't interesting, but I just wanted something a little bit different to look at every day. 
So the next one would be my Pilot Petite with the blue-black cartridge. So this is Pilot blue-black cartridge. And this one is actually, was actually carried over petite one in a fine. Was actually car carried over from last month and will probably be still carried over to December just because I still have a lot of ink in this cartridge and I just want to use my cartridges. Um, so yeah, this one was carried over from last month. The next one is Organic Studios, Organic Studio Henry David Thoreau, which is the one that I was using last month in my everyday carry. I love this ink. This is a super sheener um, and it's a little bit challenging to use that uh, every day just because it takes a long long time to dry but I love this ink um, so this is organic studio Henry David Thoreau and this is still on my Twisby eco with a medium nib so this, again, this was carried over from uh, last month, from November, sorry, from October. Uh, and just because uh, I had only a sample of this ink and I, I got a feel, I filled this pan uh, maybe like two weeks ago, just because I was running out and I still had two weeks to go on my everyday carry. Uh, but because I love this ink and because I only have a sample, I just want to use this as much as I can. So this is gonna carry over from October. And then lastly I have a new ink for me uh, which is uh, Ferris wheel press, another Ferris wheel press and this one is the this one is bluegrass velvet. So Ferris wheel press, blue press velvet. And this one is in my Lummi Safari with an extra fine nib. And this one I actually this was actually a present from a co-worker which i was so happy so she gave me three ferris wheel press ink chargers uh set and i was just super excited uh, lady rose was also in the same uh, ink charger set as this one and i was just very excited and i wanted to use it so i'm not going to be using on my everyday carry but i will be using uh, throughout my other planners uh, and I just wanted to use it and just to show it to her that, you know, hey, I, I'm already using. You gave me this like two days ago and I'm already using. So, yeah, uh, that's it. I think that's it for my currently ink, actually. Uh, I, I'm trying to narrow it down to eight pens because last month I think I had 10 or 12 and it was just too much. I, I wasn't using it. <laughs> so... I try to narrow it down to eight pens, including the ones that I'm carrying over from the previous month. So this was quite a challenge and I think this actually helps a little bit. Uh, oh, I wanted to put this here. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this a little bit more and I'm gonna try to attach this here just so I remember you know, what was the inspiration for this? Uh, and then do I want to put this? I don't, I don't know if I want to glue this necessarily. Let me see if I have a, 
uh, removable glue, which I think I still do. Uh, I think so. I think this is still full. So the Tombow removable adhesive. Um, let's see. Oh, this was from the from the swatch there. I'm glad it didn't smudge too much. So I'm just gonna put this with the removable adhesive just because if this starts to bother me because of the bulk, uh, I can still remove it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this here just so I have some visual of, you know, what did I have in mind while I was choosing these inks. Uh, and then if we look in the opposite side, uh, Queen and Castle almost bled through. It pretty much did bleed through actually because I laid down a lot of ink, uh, so it, it bleed, pretty much bled through. But I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna stamp some stuff here later to just do like a cover page. Um, and then let's see on the other side. The other side looks good. So that's it. That's my uh, new ink journal. Uh, let's see how how I will I will adapt to this notebook. Uh, it is super cute though, so I hope I can use it. Um, and then I'm thinking about maybe uh, changing my traveler's notebook here. Uh, maybe adding some at least one pocket here in the back so I can put this in. But I don't know if if I am coordinated enough to uh, stitch uh, a leather uh, pocket here very close to the edge. Uh, so we'll see. That's going to be a challenge, but I might try just because, you know, it's a DIY uh, traveler's notebook anyway, so I might as well try and see if I can fit this one on this one just for some extra protection. Not that it needs it, but it will also be good to keep it closed, right? Because as I start as I start using it, I will I start breaking into the spine. And yeah, I just want to make sure this will keep closed. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's a very short <laughs> currently inked video. Uh, let me know if you have fountain pens that you're inking for, for November, uh, which colors did you choose, and how do you choose uh, the colors that you're going to use for each month. So I'm trying this like color palette thing, uh, but if you have any suggestions on how do you choose the colors that you're going to use for the month, uh, let me know. I would be super happy to hear. Um, so with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.